So first thing, just like uh, any other copy job, you're going to lift up the lid of the copier and uh, place face down the, the document you would like to scan and then come over to the screen here and click scanner. Now once you're in scanner, um, if you go into the uh, scan settings here, then at the bottom there's an auto color select. If you choose that then it'll, it'll choose for you or you can go ahead and just uh, select full color. Um, on the resolution tab, um, a 600 dpi or dots per inch is going to give you a higher quality. Uh, will be also a uh, longer time to load in email or websites. If you uh, look at scan size, it's set to auto detect. Um, that's fine for most people. Uh, it'll just determine which big, uh, which size you want. And you can also mess with this if you'd like to. So after you're done, you just click on the OK button here. And if you click on, uh, if you leave it on the email tab, uh, you can do either one, just like any other scanning thing. Um, but when, when you want to email it or send it somewhere, you just hit the start button. So for this example, I'm just going to choose the one that's preset. I'm going to click start. And it's going to scan. Now because um, this is a um, on the glass scanner, it's also going to ask you, um, do you have any other originals? So it'll say place next original within 50 seconds, or if you're done, press the pound key. So I'm going to press the pound key on the keyboard and it warns me I left my stuff on the glass but that's it um, it will come through your email and I will uh, take a little screenshot of that email and send it at the end of the video hope that helps you uh, get some nice uh, st student artifacts and other work up on your websites and uh, if you have any questions contact your instructional technology specialist